behalf of the Highland Park Public Library, I'd like to welcome you to Library in Your Living Room. I'm Susan, and today I'm going to show you how to make some fun text effects using Pixlr.com, a free photo editor. We're going to start with Pixlr E, because Pixlr E has the more advanced tools. So here we are. I'm just going to tell it I want to create a new and the full HD is fine for me, so I'm just going to select that and say create. So here we are on our workspace. I'm going to go to text, which is the T in the corner, and I'm going to click on add text. That's going to open up a text box for you with a default text. You can click on it and choose many different fun fonts. Let's grab that one. Just highlight the Laura Mipsum and type what you want. I'm just going to type the word text. Once I have my text, I can increase the size with the slider, bring it up to a good size. And when I click off, I have my text. As you can see, I chose my color for my text to be red. I could have chosen any color, but I'm going to stick with red for now. Now to do some fun effects with the text, we're going to want to select the word text. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this text that I made and I'm going to duplicate the layer so that I have a second text layer. The original layer is going to remain a text layer so that I can change the words if I want without having to reset all the settings. So we're going to work on the text copy layer right now. And I'm going to go up to layer and I'm going to say rasterize the layer. That's going to turn this layer into a graphic. It's a little confusing because I have both on, so I'm going to turn off my original text by clicking on the three dots and marking it as hidden. So now we're in my text copy. And there we have it. So now what I want to do in order to do some fun things, I'm going to select the word text. I'm going to click on the select lasso. And I'm just going to roughly outline my text. After I do that, I'm going to click on the magic wand. And I'm going to remove from the selection and click on the background. You'll see it now has selected the outline of the word text. I also want the hole in my E, so I'm going to click there. And now you'll see I have my entire word outlined. I could make my changes to this text here if I wanted to. But you can play with layers and give yourself lots of options. So I'm going to go back over to layers, and I'm going to make a new layer. And it's going to be an empty layer. And you'll see I have an empty layer. I'm now going to take my text layer and I'm going to turn that one off. But you see my selection remained. So now I can go into the gradient fill and I can choose a gradient that I like. Let's go with the rainbow. And then I can just go from one direction to another and choose how to fill. And I've now made a rainbow full of text. If I wanted the rainbow to go from the top to the bottom, I could go from the top of the T to the bottom of the T and let go. And now my rainbow is going from the top to the bottom. If I wanted it to be radial, I would click on radial and it would go from the, from the inside to the outside. So that's my first fun text effect. 
I'm going to now make another empty layer. And I'm going to turn off this text. And in this text box, I'm going to use my fill. And I'm going to swap colors. And I'm going to fill my text with gray. So now I have these two. I'm going to turn this one back on. And I'm going to move it up above my gray layer. So now my rainbow text is above my gray text. I'm going to grab my arrow. I'm going to go up to select and I'm going to deselect my text, which now makes it one unit in that my selection. I'm going to turn my gray text visible. And then I'm going to grab my rainbow text and I can just align it how I like. So that I have now created a shadow effect. If I didn't like the look of that gray shadow, I can always go back to the shadow. I can choose a different color if I wanted it to be a black shadow. I could use the fill tool and fill the letters individually. I had to do them individually because when I clicked off and unselected, I no longer had the entire word selected as one item. So there we have it. We have a rainbow text floating with a shadow effect. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn these off so that we don't see them anymore. And I'm going to go back to my original word. Turn that on. And once again, I'm going to make another duplicate. And then turn this off again. So now here we are. We're back at this copy of the text. And I'm going to select it again. And this time I'm going to go up to select and I'm going to save the selection. So it's now saved this text selection for me and I can bring that into anything else that I'm doing because it is saved. So I'm going to go up in the file and I'm going to do a, a stack search. And I'm going to search for, let's search for zebras. See if I can find a zebra. So here's a nice image of some zebra fur. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to do it full HD, which is the same as the other one. We're going to apply it. Now there's a little trick here. When you open these, they come locked. So you want to unlock it. You're going to click on three dots and go to the layer setting and then click on unlocked. Now I can manipulate this. I'm going to click on select and I'm going to restore my selection, which brings my text in. Using the arrange tool, I'm going to move this text until I get it where I like it on the stripes. So you want to be careful with this because you have two different ways this tool works. With the four pointed arrows, that allows you to move your selection. Once you've got it moved, then you want to get the arrow with the scissors, which will cut out that selection. If I move it, you'll see it's been cut. I'm then going to hold down the control and type the letter C to copy that. And then I'm going to control V to paste it. And it will paste it over here as a new layer. If I turn off my background so I can't see it anymore, you will see that I have created a piece of text made out of zebra stripes. If I go to select, I can deselect all, and now it's an object that I can use. So now if I go back to my 
original text over here, my first document, I can go up to select and deselect everything and then go back to select and select all. That's going to select the word text and all of the empty background. I'm going to say control C to copy. Then I'm going to go back to my zebra and control V to paste it in. So now my rainbow is above my zebra. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to put it below my zebra text. And now I can grab my grouper and I can take my zebra text and give it a rainbow shadow behind it. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to play with text and please check hplibrary.org for more upcoming virtual programs.